this video, I'm going to go over the setup and the um, procedure for using the super poly force table. Uh, this is a great visual aid uh, when discussing vector addition in the first round of physics. Um, so let's get into it. When you first open it up, um, you'll have the table here. And on the back side, um, you'll have storage for the three individual legs. Uh, they screw into each of these um, thread inserts right here. And then you also have three super pulleys that'll hang around the perimeter of the uh, table. And then you will also have uh, at least a few of these uh, indicators um, that allow you to visually see how centered your uh, system is. So in uh, setting this up here, um, you want to take one of these indicators, and I've already taken this one, and I have tied three separate lengths of string to it. Actually, what I did is I tied them together and knotted them in the back right here, so when you grab this, it doesn't come out and stay suspended. It's very easy to set up. You just insert this. There's two holes here on each side that fit with the prongs. And you just pop that in there. Make sure the string goes in there as well. You should hear a little snap. And it should be flat. Make sure it is flat when you put it in there. All right, so now we can go ahead and start attaching the legs here. Like I said, these just screw in. Uh, make sure you cut your string uh, longer than you need it. Uh, so once you get it all inserted, you can go ahead and cut everything to the same length. It's not critical that they're the same length. Um, just easier, convenient. All right. And, uh, you'll notice on here that we have markings uh, from 0 to 360 degrees, all in one degree increments. Um, so to uh, set this up here, I'm going to just dive right into the experiment, rather just a simple investigation. There we go. Um, so this is a lab write-up uh, for this particular activity here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take one pulley, and we are going to attach it to the zero degree mark. Now each of these pulleys, it's hard to see, but there is a center mark right here on all these pulleys. Make sure you use that when setting this up. And we're going to go ahead and uh, attach the first one to the zero degree mark. Doesn't need to be perfect, but just get it close, snug on there. All right. And then we need to place another one uh, as per the activity, um, the 120 degree mark. All right. Um, some other things you will need uh, flathead screwdriver. Um, this will be for loosening and tightening uh, these uh, thumb screws here uh, to raise and lower the pulley as needed. And then uh, some scissors to cut the string. And then you'll need a uh, mass and hanger set as well. So now we're going to go ahead and apply mass and hangers to two of these. Just make sure this doesn't touch the, uh, the table that you're on. Uh, make sure it's long enough. Oh, good. Go over and under two times. There we go. All right. Now we can suspend that. So it's important that when you're setting this up, that the string here um, is as closely level uh, with the table as possible. So you want to bring these pulleys down just to where it's barely above the table here. There we go. 
and then lock it in place. All right. Tighten those thumb screws. And then we're going to go over here to the other side and do the same thing. Just going to wrap it a few times around here. Go a little over under. All right, now that's secure. Hang that down. And then same thing, it just the level. So that's just barely above the table. There we go. That's important because if these are all the way up, um, it'll create a force that will pull the indicator upwards and create friction on the back side of the table, making it hard to move and making it less sensitive um, to changes. And so once we got that down, we can lock these in place. It's just barely above the table. Yeah, perfect. All right. So now this experiment calls for us um, to find the equilibrium force that is required to balance the uh, resultant force of these two pulleys here. And so what we're required to do is we're going to do a 50 gram mass, 50 grams on the uh, pulley that's at the zero degree mark. And then we're going to do a 100 gram mass on the pulley at the 120 degree mark. And then let's just attach the third pulley just arbitrarily on here so it's on there. There we go. Yep. All right. And then we'll do the same thing with this. So this one right here is going to be our equilibrium pulley that we're going to be um, adding masses to until the, uh, the clear circle is inside uh, the black ring here, which will indicate to us that it is in equilibrium and centered appropriately. Bring this out, there we go. Suspend that guy. And then once again, same thing, raise this until it's just barely above the table. And then lock it in place. So at this point, you want your students to calculate out using vector addition. Uh, first, find the resultant of these two pulleys here. And then from there, calculate the required um, force necessary to cancel them out. For the equilibrium force. Um, and I already did that ahead of time. And so here is my math. And this tells us that the equilibrium force is going to be uh, 0.891 newtons at an angle of 268.4 degrees. And so the idea here is to add masses and adjust the angle on the pulley here um, until this is in the center. So we have a ballpark of where to aim now. So keep in mind that the, uh, the mass hangers themselves have five grams of mass to them when doing the calculation. So do not forget that. So now we have 75 grams, and now we have 85 grams, 
and now we have 89 with these two. So we have the mass appropriate. Now we need to adjust the angle on here. So as we play with this, we fine tune it. Actually, I feel I need to adjust this one myself, actually. It's too, too short there. Get this tight around there. There we go. And so, what it's looking like here is I adjust this. So we have it set to 269 right now. But it looks like we need more mass. Oh, too much. Five grams is too much. Let's try adding a two gram on there again. As it settles, see that's got it really close now. Um, we're almost fully in the center. Um, just got to probably adjust this just a hair over to 268 degrees. And that's about as center as we're going to get it. So from here, um, you'll take the value of the mass that you have added to this uh, to this pulley right here. And then you'll compare that with the experimental value that was calculated to find your percent error. And those are the basics of using the uh, super pulley force table.